I'm Braden Fleece with Fleece Performance. Um, we've been in the uh, diesel performance aftermarket for about 10 years now. Um, we started in a, in a garage, really, in uh, rural Indiana, uh, west central Indiana, and uh, my brother and I. And, well, we just set a record last weekend with uh, a 530 in the eighth mile ET on a 4,500 pound truck. And we built that truck here, did the chassis work, the fuel system and turbos are ours. And I basically get to uh, take all my thoughts and create them with, uh, you know, with the machining tools that we have. And we take a Cummins or a Duramax block and uh, we machine the block to support, you know, the, the horsepower that we're trying to make. We started out with uh, a turbocharger uh, on the 2004 Chevy Duramaxes, and uh, so that that's kind of really where it all started with the turbochargers. And once we had developed uh, that one platform, we the next model year came out, and we improved upon that. We got into the injection pump market, and any hole in the market where we think that we can uh, either do it better or, or there's nobody currently doing it, we'll uh, we'll dive in with you know head first and and go after it. Our first machine, I mean, we, we bought a TL1 in 2008. I mean, it was such a big purchase for us that we actually framed the purchase order. And, you know, for a couple of farm kids, I mean, I was 28, Chase was 22, and we've, we've really just looked for problems, um, and, and we call them problem solver parts, and we make um, all kinds of kit parts that help people install our products easier or adapt other parts to these engines. Um, and we'll make, uh, you know, we have all the tools that we need here to prototype those and then it's turned into, well, okay, the machine's busy prototyping, let's pick up another, you know, VMC to run production. And, you know, now we have, have four verticals. Between uh, our two machinists, Gabe Hall and Tyler DePoy, uh, those two, I lean on them hard to take my thoughts and actually turn them into an actual product. So that's something that uh, without that software we couldn't make it happen. With Inventor and HSM, there's a lot of times where from a design standpoint, we're very involved, our machinists are involved in the design process. We all sit down and kind of audit each other's ideas and designs. And So now, you know, our our machinists are pretty much design engineers and Inventor handles that. You know, when they change a tool path or we change a model, HSM automatically updates. We don't have to go back and chain individual tool paths to that. So it's business as usual. You just, hey, we're gonna change a dimension on this part. We start driving a few dimensions and HSM just knows how we wanna cut it. Put in a pretty significant investment with uh, a Haas VF6 50 taper machine and we've made fixturing to accept a Cummins um, 6.7 liter engine block in the fourth axis. And the original method was to set the block up and, and square it in a boring machine. You know, that whole sleeving process used to take us a whole week for one block. We went from 40 hours to four hours. We could get two blocks done in a day where it used to take 40 hours to do one. So with our partnership with HFO Midwest and Autodesk Inventor and HSM Works, it's allowed us to really refocus on what we do best, and that's making horsepower.